President Mohamed Buhari has signed the 10.8 trillion naira revised 2020 budget into law. Hi, welcome to What's Happening. These are the top 10 stories now. At number 10, due to the high risk of COVID-19 transmission, Italy has banned travelers from 13 countries. The decree was signed by the country's health ministry on Thursday, together with the foreign interior and transport ministries. The 13 countries are Armenia, Bahrain, Bangladesh, Bosnia, Brazil, Chile, the Dominican Republic, Kuwait, North Macedonia, Moldova, Oman, Panama and Peru. Italy was the first country to be hit by the virus after it emerged in China late last year. According to official figures, about 35,000 people have died of the virus in Italy and more than 242,000 cases have been confirmed. At number 9, police operatives attached to the Special Tactical Squad have arrested and paraded a seven-man criminal gang involved in the attack and robbery of three commercial banks in Ekiti and Ondo states between 2019 and 2020. The suspects were paraded by the police spokesman Frank Mba on Wednesday. Investigations have revealed that the suspects carried out two bank robberies in Ondo state on December 2019 and 7th of February 2020 respectively, where four policemen were killed. The seven suspected criminals killed two policemen and other innocent citizens in the robbery in Ekiti State and cutted away several millions of naira. Sophisticated weapons were recovered and efforts were being made to arrest other members of the gang who are still at large. At number eight, the House of Representatives has faltered the decision of the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, to cancel the conduct of the West African School Certificate Examination in the country. The Chairman of the House Committee on Basic Education, Julius Iyobere, argued that the decision was similar to a policy reversal, which is not good for the country and is bound to create further confusion in the education sector, disappointment and suspicion among parents, and also frustrate students. The lawmakers also accused Adamu of arriving at the decision unilaterally with Without the inputs of other critical stakeholders in the education sector, adding that the decision to cancel the conduct of the examination under the guise of protecting students from the coronavirus pandemic is not reasonable. At number seven, the Lagos state government has announced that it would plant 500,000 trees in the next three months in honor of health workers at the front line of the fight against the coronavirus pandemic in the country. The general manager of the Lagos State Park and Gardens Agency, Mrs. Ade Otumpopola, made the disclosure at a press conference in Lagos on Thursday. She told newsmen that the state would dedicate its 2020 tree planting day on July 14th with the theme Trees for Life to Health Workers in appreciation of their sacrifices. Popola also said that the agency would plant trees in all the COVID-19 isolation centers in the state to stand as signposts to the resilience of the frontline health workers. At number six, the federal government has evacuated 270 stranded Nigerians in Egypt. According to a tweet,